True story. This is my best friend, and I met her on a dating app. I am a friend gal. I have collected them in droves my entire life. In fact, my parents often ridiculed me because every week, seemingly, I was introducing a new person as my best friend. I can still hear the voice of my dad saying, is she really your best friend, Hanny? I pride myself on my ability to maintain true female friendships. These girls have been my best friends since the age of two, and this is my OG squad from the sixth grade. All still best friends to this day. Lately, however, I found myself feeling very lonely and best friendless. Every weekend, I see groups of women at boozy brunches or shopping or sitting talking in the park, and I envy them. How was I, who knows no strangers, suddenly lonely in a city full of fascinating people? More importantly, how the hell do you make friends once you're out of the safety net that was high school and college? Remember how easy it was to have playdates as a kid? You just sat down next to someone and shared Play-Doh. Why the fuck don't we have playdates anymore? I really want to find my New York City girlfriend soulmate. So it's like so much more um, difficult to be open to other people because I think as you know, being in my 20s and trying to figure out who I am, I'm also putting that on the people who I associate with. How do, how do you guys make friends then? Like how do we find people that share our interests and that like are open to it? One of my closest friends right now in New York, I met at a Zumba class. So maybe go take a class. Here's the problem with working out. I have soul cycle taste with a YMCA budget. What's really cool is that I was able to volunteer at a school as like a co-teacher, which is really exciting because now I get to foster these like, you know, not kids, but like adults. So volunteering is like a really cool way to be a part of it. You can do it in multiple places. I signed up to volunteer at a nursing home and ended up making friends with the residents rather than my fellow volunteers. Not quite what I was going for, but looking forward to bingo once a month. After talking to my coworkers, I was dismayed, but not defeated. I needed to attack this problem from a more current and interactive perspective. If people can find fuck buddies, boyfriends, for the love of Moses damn husbands on social media apps, there must be something for a lonely heart to find a platonic bestie. Enter Bumble BFF. No asses, dicks, vajayjays, or boobs. Just a treasure trove of potential lifelong besties to shoot the shit with. Since I've never been one to let a little insecurity stop me from doing something stupid, I plopped down in the kitchen and started swiping like a mad woman. Natty light in hand, swipe left. Hum for Trump, swipe left. I'm just kidding. I really took the time to look through people's pictures to see if I could gauge a connection. My first Bumble date was at a bar on the Upper East Side with a girl whose name I can't even remember. I'm such a dick. My second Bumble date was actually really fun. We met during lunch when we found out that our offices were only a few blocks from one another and seemed to hit it off. She even sent me a package at work full of swag from her PR agency. My best friend sensors were flashing at the speed of light. That's so cool. But like many relationships that begin on apps, elation quickly faded to indifference. Just when I thought all hope was lost, Elizabeth and I matched. I decided to give it one more go and we met in the park one day after work. Right off the bat, sparks were flying. We talked dating and family and Sondheim and sex and spicy tuna rolls. It was, to coin a phrase, an instant homance. I found her. I've got to admit, it felt super weird and almost anti-feminist swiping left and right on girls, but looking back, I'm so glad I did it and put myself out there. So I made so much fun of <laughs> Hannah when I heard she was doing Bumble BFF because like, what is that? No, I mean, I thought it was crazy too, but after I started thinking about it, I was like, it's hard to meet people here, especially when you didn't grow up here. I mean, I moved from the South. I didn't know a lot of people, so I just figured, might as well try it out. And I was surprised by how many people were on there looking for friends too. The reason that it happened was because we were both really open to finding a really good friend. My friends do it for guys, so why not do it for girls? Yeah. <laughs> and it worked. Look and at it too. worked. Elizabeth is my New York City soulmate. We make the effort to see each other at least twice a week, sometimes more. We see shows together, we go out to eat together, we drink a lot of wine together, we even sing together. It took me nine months of living here to come to terms with being lonely. I had to deal with what was missing in me, but I am firmly and unapologetically a face your shit kind of girl. And I put myself out there, scared and vulnerable. The truth is we all feel the same things. 
We are paralyzed because we think our inadequacies are unique. They're not. Invite someone into your weird little world and see what happens. My conclusion, it is not easy to make friends as an adult. If you want new friends, you need to look with intention. My hope is that Elizabeth and I will remain friends for a lifetime, but I definitely still have open friend receptors. Who knows? Maybe you'll be my best friend. Click here to watch the next video on Refinery29. Click here to subscribe on YouTube and click this eye to see the next video on the playlist.